it's all changing so fast. Communication has taken such enormous steps in less than a single lifetime. Television in the UK started broadcasting in 1931, black and white of course. It took a further 24 years for colour television to emerge. And the first TV adverts were broadcast in 1955. By 2006, worldwide advertising had grown to be an estimated $385 billion business and is expected to grow to a staggering $500 billion by 2010. 1977 saw the introduction of personal computers. Privately run internet service providers started to offer services during the 80s. Just two years ago, the internet was being used by an estimated 382 million Europeans, 246 million Americans and a staggering 1.4 billion people worldwide. Between the year 2000 and 2006, the internet saw a 290% usage increase and this will grow a further enormous 500% by 2010. It's incredible. Welcome to EFE Media and Communication. I'm Alex D. The worldwide media platform is undergoing a dramatic change due to the development of the web. Very soon we will be watching live television online from all areas of the world. And in the short term we are going to see traditional media turned upside down. Digital transmissions in both radio and television have revolutionized traditional broadcasting. And in recent years, we have seen a massive increase in the number of television and radio channels, creating a competitive market within information and advertisements. Along with the printed media, these have traditionally been the backbone of advertising. However, that's all changing now. In more recent years, websites have been developed to maximize the exposure of companies, messages and products. These sites are fantastic, but they all face the same problem. They need to get people to visit. To do this, they use an array of methods to encourage that to happen. Most of these sites support all kinds of information. So, the second problem is, will that person find the information once they've entered the site? Traditional broadcasting and advertising via the television totally depends on the viewing public and there's no guarantee they'll even watch. Radio faces much the same problem, while printed media such as newspapers, magazines, etc. needs one to turn to that all-important page. Development of the web is changing all of this. With the increasing speed of data transfer, we will see massive growth in advertising and the passing of messages and information via email and PDAs within the next two years. EFE Media is at the forefront of this growth, leading the way in push technology and rich media via email and personal digital handheld devices.